Recently, the Brawler Tower has received a rework, but is it still good? Well, let's see. First, Brawler's placement limit was decreased from 10 to 6, greatly weakening its strength in solo and duo matches. It also lost its hidden detection, meaning that it will no longer be able to see hiddens or shadow bosses, meaning that you'll have to rely on another tower for hidden detection. But now, moving on to the stats. At level 0, the Brawler's placement cost was increased from $450 to $550. The damage was decreased from 10 to 8, but the fire rate was decreased from 1.2 seconds to now 1.08 seconds. Overall decreasing the Brawler's DPS from 8.24 to now 7.94 DPS. The Brawler's cost efficiency was decreased from $54 per DPS to now $69 per DPS. Still really good value, but noticeably weaker. At level 1, the upgrade cost was decreased from $700 to $300, although the damage was decreased from 15 to now just 8. The fire rate was decreased from 1.08 to now just 0.758 seconds, and the range was decreased from 7 to 6 now, overall decreasing the Brawler's DPS from 14.88 to now 10.55 DPS. The Brawler's cost efficiency was decreased from $77 per DPS to now $80 per DPS. At level 2, the upgrade cost is decreased from $1,500 to $1,000. The damage is increased from 10 to 15 damage now. And at every third hit, the Brawler deals 30 damage instead of the regular 15 damage and deals 17.5 knockback force. Although 30 damage is still lower than the previous 40 final hit damage that the Brawler did. And Brawler's fire rate was increased from 5.8 to 0.608. And the range was decreased from 7 to 6 now. Overall increasing the Brawler's DPS from 23.77 to 27.08. The Brawler's cost efficiency was increased from $111 per DPS to now $68 per DPS. At level 3, the upgrade cost is decreased from $4,000 to $2,250. The fire rate is decreased from 0.508 to 0.608. The knockback cooldown is decreased from 1 second to now 0.75 seconds. The knockback force is increased from 17.5 to 20, and the range is decreased from 7 to 6, overall increasing the DPS from 47.54 DPS to now 61.04 DPS. The cost efficiency is increased from $139 per DPS to now $67 per DPS. At level 4, the upgrade cost was increased from $5,000 to $5,500. The damage is increased from 30 to 40. The Brawler gains the Reposition ability, which allows it to be moved around anywhere on the map. The Reposition ability's damage was decreased from 100 to 80, and the cooldown was decreased from 40 seconds to now 20 seconds. The knockback force was decreased from 25 to 24 and the range was decreased from 8 to 7, bringing the Brawler's DPS from 57.54 to now 93.43 DPS. The Brawler's cost efficiency was increased from $200 per DPS to now $103 per DPS. And finally, at max level, the upgrade cost was increased from $14,000 to $15,000. The damage was increased from 50 to 100. The final hit damage was increased from 100 to 200. And the fire rate was increased from 0.258 seconds to now 0.508 seconds. The cooldown was increased from 0.5 seconds to now just 0.45 seconds. And the knockback force was increased from 25 to now 30. And the range was decreased from 8 to 7. Overall, maxing out Brawler's DPS to 263 compared to the old DPS of 186 DPS. This increases the Brawler's cost efficiency from $137 per DPS to now $93 per DPS. So in conclusion, the Brawler is now worse at early game, being less cost efficient at lower levels. Although the Brawler is now significantly better at mid to late game, having insane cost efficiency and great DPS. Although the Brawler has less overall DPS going from 1800 DPS with 10 max Brawlers to 1500 DPS with 6 reworked Brawlers. The 6 reworked Brawlers only cost 147k compared to the old price of 10 Brawlers costing 256k. Another added bonus to the reworked Brawlers is the repositioning ability being 2 times faster, allowing you to micro the Brawlers against the enemies even more. Taking all these into factor, I would still rank the Brawler in S tier tower, although I still prefer the old Brawlers. Anyways, that's it. If you found this video informative, consider subscribing, but that's all. See ya.